welcome to the craft room for another fun video tutorial. Today's video is inspired by my cat Juno. Juno is an eight month old Siamese kitten. Uh, she was adopted at the beginning of this school year, the 2019-2020 school year. And she has beautiful medium length fur. I'm gonna put her down because she is, oh, look at her tail, isn't that pretty? Um, she's not interested in being on camera. She's more of a behind the scenes girl. Anyway, Juno's our inspiration for today's art project. We're gonna learn how to draw a cute cat. You could draw any type of cat. It could be your cat if you have a cat at home. Could be Juno. It could be um, a make-believe amazing cat. So you'll need a pencil, paper, maybe a marker, maybe some colored pencils, whatever materials you have at home. Juno's walking on the table and making the camera bounce. I apologize. It's crazy in here. All right, let's get started. Today we're gonna learn how to draw a cute cat. So here is my cute Siamese cat drawing and I'm gonna teach you step-by-step step how to make your own cat drawing. So to begin, you'll need a piece of paper. You could draw in pencil. I'm gonna be drawing in Sharpie today just so you can um, see my lines nice and dark. So we're beginning at the top of the page with the curve of the cat's head. And so the curve is going to be kind of a gentle wide curve like that. Then we're gonna come down and around. So on each side, have the line come down and around and then complete it at the bottom with a curve. To top off the head, we'll need two triangle ears. So the line's gonna go up that is gonna become the point, so you come back down and repeat on the other side, up and back down. And then for a detail, we're gonna add a smaller triangle inside each ear. Now, because I had made mine a Siamese cat, and Siamese cats have like a mask on their face, I had a very light line to show where the mask's going to be, and I am not going to do that in Sharpie. Now you don't need to have a mask line. You could do a different type of cat. In the middle, kind of lower down, I'm gonna do a triangle nose. We're gonna do kind of a smaller nose. You could color it in if your cat's nose is gonna be black, like mine is. If it's gonna be a pink nose, then maybe leave it for later. And then a little W for mouth. Now, since we're making a cute cat, we're doing some very large, oversized eyes. So do two really big eyes. And to make them cute, we're gonna add the eye shine. So big circle, small circle. And then you're gonna color those in. If you're right now drawing in pencil, you could skip this step and wait until you get out your crayons or markers or colored pencils. It's kind of hard once you color something in with a regular graphite pencil to then try to color over the top of it. That material just doesn't seem to want to be layered by other materials. Okay, okay. Now, if we look back at my original cat drawing, the one I did of my cat, Juno, you can see I did add a ring around the eyes for color because Siamese cats have blue eyes, which kind of makes them a little bit special. Not all cats have blue eyes, so if you wanted to, you could draw another ring around the eyes. Now underneath, we're gonna do the collar. So it's two short lines down and a long line across connecting. And then you can add a charm, like maybe it's a heart-shaped charm or a star. Um, on my cat, I had drawn a bell. I think on this one, let's see. How about we do a heart-shaped charm on this one? So I'll draw a heart, okay? All right, to do the body, we're gonna start at the sides of the collar and your line's gonna come out and widen. So it's gonna curve away so that the body's gonna get wider down where the cat is sitting. And then that line's gonna come around and I'm gonna stop there so that I can draw the front paws. So for the front paws, I'm gonna draw some fur texture to show where the paws are coming out. So that's a few zigzags. And then it's going to be 
four long lines coming down. So one leg, two legs. And then at the bottom, I'm just gonna have these curve into paws. And now I can complete that. And for the back feet, we're just gonna be able to see a hint of them. So the cat is sitting and you can just see kind of the tops of their feet. Now for the tail, I drew Juno's tail. So she is kind of a medium length fur, so she had a longer shaggier tail. If you wanted to draw um, a smooth long tail, you could do sort of an S curve line. Start at the top, swing around, and then slowly bring it back to the body. All right, that is how to draw a cat. Enjoy coloring your cat. You could color it like this if you want to make a Siamese one, or maybe you're going to color it like a cat you have at your house, or maybe you're going to do an imaginary cat, so a really super fun, funky colored one. So whatever type of cat you do draw, I hope you share it with us on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, if it's on Facebook, you could share it on my personal page, or you could share it on our Rockwell Amazing Artist page. On Instagram, if you post, you could tag me at Art with Susie. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day.